subscribers, I want to help you understand that you've got to wait to see somebody's actions. You can't just believe words because words on their own really, honestly, don't mean anything. And somebody could even be saying them with the right intentions at the time, but they just don't have the capacity to back it up, whether they're narcissistic or not. So there's two lots of words that people can fall for very easily. The first one is sorry. And especially when you've been connected to somebody who's not good at using that five letter word. So when eventually they say sorry, you could really lap it up and think, oh my gosh, they're actually sorry. But sorry can mean two things, even when it's expressed. Sorry can mean genuine remorse or sorry can mean regret. And if sorry is just mere regret, well, then what that means is, well, I've lost something that you bring to the table and I don't like the way my life is going now, rather than the genuine remorse of, I understand what I did to you. I have empathy about that. I am sorry that I hurt you. I want to make amends. I want to make it up to you. And I truly don't want to be that person who could ever do that to you again. That's a genuine sorry. The other lot of words that can be used that we can just believe way too easily is I love you. Okay, I love you. And you could melt and think, oh my goodness, you really do love me. You love me. You've said it. You've said, I'm sorry. You've said, I love you. But the, the question you need to ask is, you love me enough to do what? To change, to step up, to be able to lean in with me and work as a team at the things that weren't working. There's a reason why we broke down. There's a reason why we've separated literally or emotionally. There's possibly a reason why I'm about to let go and completely move on with my life because we have to get very clear. Toxic people may only do the sorry and the I love you from the heart when you're gone or when they know you're serious about going and you need to ask yourself, why weren't they able to say these things before? Why did they run the risk of finishing and destroying the relationship? Why was there such a risk of destroying trust and connection and intimacy? Was it hubris? Was it ego? Was it prideful? Was it because they didn't think you would disconnect or leave or ever go or ever get your own self-esteem to say enough? Maybe. So I love you means this is what you need to ask. You love me enough to do what? And one of the best ways that you can check this out and you can actually put this stuff to the test is say to this person, I can't just get back together and I can't just move on with this. We need to go through what happened. We need to really analyze it, sit with it, discuss it. We need to resolve it. Because if we don't resolve it, we're going to go through it again. It needs to be resolved. And then you will literally see how genuine that sorry and I love you is. I hope that this helps and I hope that this has made sense. Lots of love.